Aircraft Noise Basics, Part 4. How are runway decisions made? At busy airports like Minneapolis-St. Paul, air traffic controllers carefully and continuously make decisions about which runways to use and where to direct aircraft. Many factors influence where airplanes fly. Air traffic controllers always make safety and operational efficiency their top priorities. This includes ensuring appropriate spacing between aircraft as they taxi on the ground and fly through the air. Airfield layout, runway closures, the number of flights and where they are destined also come into play. And sometimes an aircraft itself dictates runway use. Heavier airplanes, like cargo aircraft or those that fly internationally, must use longer runways to safely get off the ground. Wind and weather are significant factors in determining runway use. Because airplanes must take off and land into the wind, the airport's runways are oriented with wind patterns in mind. MSP has four runways. The two parallel runways are used every day unless construction or unusual weather conditions exist. The north-south runway is only used for aircraft arriving from or departing to the south. The crosswind runway is used infrequently for heavy aircraft or during unusual weather conditions. Generally, winds come from the north and northwest during cooler months and the south and southeast during warmer months. Air traffic controllers rely on combinations of runways, or flows, for directing air traffic. Which combination is used depends largely on wind conditions. During a north flow, the wind is typically blowing from a northerly or westerly direction. Departing planes take off to the northwest, and landing planes arrive from the south and southeast. During a south flow, the wind is usually blowing from a southerly or easterly direction. Departing planes take off to the south and southeast. Landing planes arrive from the northwest. When wind and other factors allow, air traffic controllers will use a mixed flow configuration. This is best for directing planes over less populated areas. The opposite direction, or head-to-head -head flow, offers the most opportunity to place airplanes over non-residential areas. This type of operation is only used when aircraft can be separated by 15 miles or more and when winds are light, conditions that typically occur overnight when flight numbers are low. Aside from the wind, Mother Nature is known for throwing curveballs, like thunderstorms and blizzards. All of these factors, and more, affect runway use. To learn more about runway use and other aircraft noise-related topics, visit macnoise.com.